so good. Let's go get the train to Bologna. So we're getting a Fiat 500 car because we need to travel all throughout this beautiful region. Here, Benny put my luggage in and Benny's going to be driving. This trunk is... No, the umbrella we need up because it's pouring. It's pouring? It's pouring. And here we are ready to start our product hunting, tasting, and hand picking. It is raining, raining, raining. Benedetta is driving, Benny, eyes front. Eyes front, eyes front. And we are heading to Modena. We have just arrived in this unique and amazing place where they make balsamic vinegar. Now we're gonna show you step by step everything that they use in all the production of this unique product that is known as Italy's black gold because it really is Italy's black gold. So while our guide is uh, explaining, let me quickly translate what she's saying. So these big vats that you see here are caldrons and the Practically the juice arrives and it's placed inside these things and that this metal thing that you see starts turning and uh, it, this liquid cooks for about between 24 and 48 hours until it reduces its volume and the must is created and it's the base for the making of balsamic vinegar. Here we see a whole bunch of barrels and uh, this each row of barrel is called a batteria. The number is usually always odd and always between five and nine. And this is where balsamic vinegar is aged. Each barrel is made with a different wood because it gives flavor to the balsamic. Look how beautiful it is. Venivano appese al centro della cucina sopra i fuochi in modo da concentrare il mosto senza una lunga attesa. Ceramica, terracotta, vetro, sono tutti contenitori super idonei. Se fosse una cosa estetica, però ho detto no, sicuramente c'è un motivo. Sì, come si showing us all these very very old containers where in the past balsamic uh, vinegar, the must was put in and they would place it over sources of heat to concentrate all the sugars of the balsamic and to accelerate this process. I mean, look how old this bit, this thing is. Isn't it incredible? Posso alzare per vedere uno? You have to press it here, okay? And then you lift up your finger, and that's it. And then are you gonna eat it? Obviously. I can just tell you it's delicious. I can't go further in the description. Mm. Do you know what this room is? Sala Stravecchio 100 means that the content in these barrels have 100 year old aceto balsamico. I mean, do you realize, do you realize what privilege we're having? And now guess what? I get to taste it. A chi ha lavorato per farlo arrivare un certo anni? È una produzione che si inizia per le generazioni che verranno, sì. quindi che porta molto fascino con sé. Wow! Esatto, sì. quando sì. c'è tanto un albero sì. che non lo sarò mai. Vale, Quasi yes. Cioccolatoso. It's the first thing that I had was like it was like sort of chocolatey. So persistent. Wow. You should see you should, you should post my happy face too. A <laughs> hundred years old. Can you imagine? Look look at the density, look at the colors.
Look at that. Look at this. Look at the beauty. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we tasted and selected the balsamic vinegars for our boxes and off a lot of them. A lot of them and off to a to our hotel in Modena. It is pouring and I think a warm room and bed is great. Here we are. <laughs> Freezing cold. It's freezing. Soaking wet. <sighs> okay. But so worth it. So worth so it. So worth it. And there's more to do in these days. Oh yes, so much more. But now let's take a power nap. Power nap. <laughs> so we have amazing friends scattered all over. And as foodies, we happen to have really, really cool foodie friends. And tonight we're going to have dinner with one of our very special foodie friends that has introduced us to places that are unique and that we love to go to for boxes. We can't show you everything. What are you showing? What are you doing? I can't show you everything. No, no, no. we can't show you everything because it's... We but we're gonna be having dinner with our friend Fabio that you're gonna meet in later. And we're going to the restaurant right in front of Ferrari mm -hmm. in Maranello. So we'll see how that goes. We've never been, I'm never starving. ever been. Let's go, Let's go. we're almost late. We're almost late. <laughs> As we are in the car, it is pitch dark. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. There's no light, light post, lamp posts. Yeah, it's look, it's, it's, I don't know, why does this phone do so much light? <laughs> but it's pitch dark. Why does it, does it why is it? It's a good phone. In 300 meters, continue straight to stay on Via Stradella. Via okay. Stradella. We're on Via Stradella. To be honest, I would have never stopped at a restaurant with all these Ferrari gadgets, but there is a reason because this place is right in front of the Ferrari and so many people um, come here, the pilots, people who want to buy a car. And so this really actually speaks of the local culture. And even look at the picture at the back, that's uh, Michael Schumacher because he was very, very close to the family. And it is, it is a very special place. You're live. I'm live. This is, we, we, we always laugh when we get together with our friend Fabio. Buonasera. And so, look at what we're having. Where are, first of all, where are we? We are at Maranello, close to the Ferrari. At a historic restaurant. We have wine. Look at this. All the products from this region. This is mine. Look at this. It's parmigiano cheese. Valera, what are you having? It's some. It's a part of the Parmigiano Reggiano. I, it, we can't get too much into it, but we'll tell you sooner Tomorrow. or later about it. <laughs> okay, we have to show this to you because I have wait. never seen a tortellino. Vale, wait here, let me show them. I was gonna expect them. Look, this is. These are made with the pinky. Just like I want to show you. Like, I have. Look how small they are. I mean, Fabio was saying that this is his favorite place. This is one, one of the best places for Turkey. And wow. This is a secondo. Ah, and we are having a secondo. <laughs> Fab, you already started. Aspetta che copriamo i pisani di vini. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gosh, life is so wonderful. It, it is. Now comes the best part. The dessert. Oh, this is for me. And this is Maurizio, the owner of this incredible restaurant. Look at this. Look at that. You put a chocolate tenerina cake. Why are you having a spoon? Because this is why I have a spoon. I'm not going to share. Well, me and Fabio did not get dessert, so you're sharing. I don't understand people who don't eat dessert. Uh, but I don't have a spoon. <laughs> I don't have a spoon. <laughs> and now I have a spoon. Grazie. You have a baby spoon. Prima. We are in another mission today. We are going to taste and pick other products, other foodie products. Very, very good foodie products, like really good foodie products. I don't know where to look, don't look there, don't look there, don't look there. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the first time that we see Modena without rain. Look. So it's like a glorious blue sky. Day. I know, but there's the sun. <sighs> Back on the road. Today is a glorious day. Thank goodness we are going on the other side of the traffic. Other place. Which roundabout? This is a roundabout? No, quella lì, quella lì. No, era quella lì, because I remember I've been there so many times. We were supposed to go on that street. Benny. Oh, no, don't no. make us go. Oh, I talked too early, Benny. 100 meters. Slide right onto Strada Statale per Carpi Nord, SP 413. Benny, you start filming, you got me distracted. It's not my fault. Take full responsibility. We're not. We don't have to go back, do we? See. In oh. 600 meters, turn left onto Strada Lesignana. Oh no, we don't. We don't have to go oh, back. Oh no, good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Benny, my fault. Okay. Oh, you see, we, four minutes they were, and four minutes they remain. Perfetto. We are visiting a Parmigiano Reggiano factory and uh, they're going to show us the entire process from start to finish and this is going to be so exciting and we can't wait to see how this all begins. What you see here is the beginning of the magic. So practically inside these huge vats, milk is poured in and this milk is the milk from the morning and the milk from the day before. Then they add the whey to the milk and the curd starts forming. You see, I can't, I don't know if you can see it, but the milk is getting harder and harder because the curd is forming. The curd is then broken down by the master cheesemaker into tiny, tiny little grains using this tool that is called the spino. The heat is on and the temperature inside the caldron is, is uh, turned up. And here, all these cheesy granules, they sink to the bottom and they form a single mass. Now, what you're doing, what you're seeing here is these two guys that are lifting up this enormous mass of delicious cheese that is going to turn into incredible Parmigiano Reggiano. This is the begin, guys, this that you're seeing is the beginning of something great. Here you are assisting at the birth of twins, this is what this is called in the, in the Parmigiano slang. These are twins. Each Calderon produces a set of identical twins. After a couple of hours, this special marking band that you see here engraves a whole bunch of very important information on the rind 
on the future run of the Parmigiano Reggiano, such as the month, the year of production, the factory, the number, and the unmistakable dotted uh, Parmigiano Reggiano that you see from side to side. Each wheel of Parmigiano, so each twin, is individually fitted inside a shaping mold. The wheels then take a 24 day long bath in water and salt. This moment is magical. Look where we're walking into. Look at this. Look at this. This is a temperature controlled aging room where all these thousands and thousands of wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano have to age. They age and they rest for a minimum of 12 long months. Isn't it extraordinary? I mean, look at those wheels. Each wheel is checked, flipped, and brushed every 10 days. 10 days. And imagine that up until the 1990s, this was done by hand. Can you imagine that? Each single wheel of future Parmigiano to be was flipped and cleaned by hand. And with this hammer, it checks the quality of the cheese by tapping it on the flat part and on the rounded part too of the cheese. These are all the utensils, probably the old ones. No? Oh yeah. This is what was used before to keep it in shape. Yeah. Now you have more modern and you things. you see how it was rectangular? So the shape, like it had ed it had the edges, so they actually had to carve this part over here, this little thing. No? Let's see. And this part here that we used to be carved is what my sister loves the most. Yes, I will tell you more about it, but it is amazing. You see, I wonder what this is. I don't want to. I don't think turn around. Cheers. Cheers. It's 9 a.m. and what better time for a Lambrusco wine? No better time. Because we are in the land where Lambrusco is made and where also all this delicious is. So now we're going to taste the next And though Parmigiano is amazing, you know that one of my favorite things is this one. Is this? But a ricotta made with Parmigiano whey is undescribable. So here to taste this, you need to come here with us because unfortunately we cannot ship this. But, and also we cannot ship this. <laughs> and you know what this is? Basically, when the parmigiano is two days old, when they sort of sometimes they have to carve it to make it that little ball shape, and they cut out these pieces called tozone. They don't taste like anything because they don't even have salt. But here locally, they use it. They they wrap prosciutto crudo around it, and then they melt it. We had this last night. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> you see, this is how they cut the tozone. It's just fresh, fresh parmigiano, not even salted yet. It's cut like that with a special machine, with a special tool. Look, the sky is blue. We've never seen Modena without rain. This is quite exciting. We are back in Rome. It's After 40, 24, uh, 48, 48 hours. hours. It has been incredibly intense, beautiful. We have we have tasted, we have eaten, we have handpicked, we have come with up with so many ideas. So Everything for the local aromas community, for the foodie boxes, and we cannot wait to share more with you. Ciao.